What's up guys, DK here with Collector's Impact and today we have a super strange product that I came across on the internet <laughs> and it is this Marvel 3D by Upper Deck from the year 2015. Look everyone, we can scan our QR code and get on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so what the hell? From 2015, this is hilarious, but this particular box, I was able to negotiate a better price on it because it's it's freaking beat, you guys. So I'm hoping that the cards inside aren't going to be too torn up. Uh, I mean, my hope with at least products like this brand new from PAX is to get a couple of them graded. Ones that stick out to me, I like to get them graded, probably by SGC because PSA is just... Psh, PSA is... I don't even know what to say about it. You guys know everything about that. So <laughs> SGC is probably going to be the place to get some of these if I am going to grade any. So, all right, let's just go ahead and crack into this and, and see, see what the heck we're working with. You know, for six-year-old, like, plastic, it's giving quite, quite a bit of resistance. This is, this is insane. I'm going to need a, uh, a knife or something. Got these scissors. Let's, let's go for it. Oh, yeah. Man, I hope I'm not doing more damage to the cards than has already been done to them with this squished box. This is crazy. Ah! Well, that was a disaster. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we're working with inside. Oh, this is a hobby, a hobby box, by the way. So it's the actual hobby exclusive product. So six cards per pack, 20 packs per box. All right, so we'll go ahead and open 10 of these right now for sure. And then if it's if there's still time, we'll go ahead and just crack the whole box. And if we're running a bit um, low on time, we'll just extend it into another video and, and go through the other box, the other half of the box at another time. I'm hoping to get through them all, but you just never know. So let's go ahead and start cracking in. All right, so is this the back of all of them? Oh, no, look, they have different backs. What is this? Okay, so... Uh, hey, well, look at that. They're n it's not 3D. <laughs> so right off the bat, I was expecting a 3D card, and it's not, and it's Zax. <laughs> okay, yeah, that sucks. Uh, Dr. Octopus, he's, he's also not 3D. Okay. Uh, Ymir, he's not 3D. Here we go. A shield agent. We got a freaking shield agent. Shield agent is 3D. So you get one 3D card in a pack, apparently. Unless I get another. Nope. You get the one lenticular 3D guy. Three base cards. And, um, what the heck is this? <laughs> you also get two... Uh, trading card game cards, I'm assuming. Uh, Legendary. Marvel Legendary by Upper Deck. Trading card game. I'm assuming that... I, I've never heard of it, but then again, the only one that I heard of was Versus. And I think there was another game by Sabretooth Games back in like the early 2000s, like 2003, 2004, that had some of the Marvel and or DC characters in that game. Um, but Versus is the biggest one that I'm aware of, so I, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to look this one up. Legendary. <laughs> Let's go ahead and inspect the pack real quick. So you got to admire that beautiful art, and for as smashed as the box was, this is actually looking really good. Um, yeah, pretty big fan of the actual packs themselves. All right, and we got Blade, a Shield Trooper, Professor X, and our 3D card is the Punisher. And, uh, wow, yeah, I got to admit, that's pretty cool. I, I like the Punisher, for sure. And this is, uh, what the heck? It's, not only is it 3D, it's like a different shape. Look at that. So, hmm, that's pretty bizarre. Uh, 48 3D, it's, 
Yeah, the other one was a regular card shape. This one is definitely not, but... Freak okay, weird. And here are our two playing cards. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> that is a nice, like, Deadpool random card. That's awesome. So it's definitely looking like they keep it pretty consistent. Oh, that's nice. Loki. That's a pretty good one. Uh, I mean, that series is already over. It was over before it started, you know what I mean? It was like <laughs> a blink of an eye. It's it's already over, um, at least until the next season comes out. I don't, I don't know. How did you guys feel about that series? It, it was. Uh, it, I have so many mixed feelings about it, I don't even know what to say. But, yeah, there's a Loki card, so that's cool. And we've got Sentinels. And our 3D card is a bystander. Are you serious? <laughs> okay. Um, I will admit, let me see. The 3D effect on that card isn't too bad. Um, I am really liking the 3D ones. It's pretty sweet. All right. We've got this card again. Spider Slayer. I feel like we've seen this before. Form from Ooze. I think we had both of those before. At least it feels like it. If we didn't, it was very similar. All right, let's move on to the next. Iron Man. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, 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 ooh. I like that Spider Man card. Man, if that was the 3D Spider Man card, that would be freaking sweet. That would have been graded for sure. But these are actually in really good conditions. So that might be... I'm going to set that aside. Continuing on with Wound. And let's see who our 3D one is this time. It's the Punisher again. Okay, I'm getting all the Punishers. What the hell? Oh, man. I, I want some like big name Spider-Mans. Some freaking Storms. Some stuff like that. And then <laughs> I do like these trading card cards. Look at that. <laughs> Deadpool again. And who is this one? Here, hold this for a second. Deadpool again. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, this one has like a special thing here, so I'm I'm pretty uh, pretty excited to see. Oh, now look at that. Okay, so we've got this bystander. So it actually is showing that you can get all of the cards, at least I would assume, in a 3D variant. So this one is the standard one, and we already have the 3D. Oh man, I hope we get that Spider Man. <laughs> There's that damn Shield agent. Oh look, you guys, a sketch card. <laughs> Oh, the Enchantress. Now that's cool. That's the very first sketch card that I've ever received. So, man, okay. Yeah, it said you get, you can get one in a box. Uh, so that's good. You're not always guaranteed one, but, you, you know, average of one per box. So I actually got one because it was factory sealed for real, guys. <laughs> I didn't get, didn't get hosed this time. Man, and that Destroyer is really nice, too. I swear, though, I feel like they're just putting in a bunch of the generic 3D ones. They're like, we can't load it down with a bunch of goodies. So, hang on, I'm going to bring that sketch back out. But here's here's those cards again. All right. So, this card is actually one of the playing cards. Uh, legendary Playable Sketch Info Card. So, that's cool. It's one-of-a-kind hand-drawn. Okay, yeah, that is that's really cool. I think I'm going to have to get that graded. Uh, so I'm not going to touch it too much. I'm just going to set that aside. All right. So we have one surefire candidate for grading so far. Let's see if we can get at least three good ones to grade. And there's Red Skull. Let's see. I'm loving that these are not stuck together. I'm so, <laughs> so used to having to peel these dang cards apart. And there's Forge. I'm telling you, look at all the generic freaking... Lenticulars I'm getting, guys. This is... <laughs> Whatever. Uh, who's this? Yeah, no. Uh, and then there... Yeah, see, there he is again. All right. On to the next. Rhino, the Destroyer. We have his 3D. Emma Frost. That's nice. I do like Emma Frost. Uh, 
Could be a little better, but it's all right. Oh, now that's beautiful. Okay, we've got a 3D Electra card, and man, its 3D is actually good. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably going to be graded. All right, and here are the two cards that came with it. Bulldozer Driver, and the here, hold this for me again. That's pretty cool artwork. I always like that kind of like weird camera angles, people jumping around. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's cool, cool, cool little card. All right, let's see if we can top the electric card. I'm loving this box. <laughs> it's like asking you shall receive. Uh, okay, let's see if we can get five cards to grade then. Because <laughs> we're almost, we've almost hit our goal without even being halfway through the box. Here's Punisher, Green Goblin, and Black Widow. Okay, and it's a nice one too. Man, oh, that's great. I don't know if I'm going to grade it yet. I've got to look it over in good detail. As I do like the Electra more, that one will be graded. But this one, I'm on the fence with. We're going to have to see. Going to have to see what else comes out of these. Uh, okay. And Storm. Uh, Baron Zemo. There's another Electra, so a different artwork. And Venom, ooh, that one would be popular, you know what I mean? Like, everyone loves some Venom. Look at it, look at the head move. What, what's going on? <laughs> so, yeah, I like that one. Man. And we've got these two as well, guys. So, um, yeah, you know what, guys? I think I am going to go ahead and break this into two sessions. There's definitely a lot to go through here, and there's still a lot more packs to behold. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up for today, and we will come back later, probably later this week, and uh, open the rest of these and see see how we can round out this collection. This this was awesome. Completely blew me away. Really loving these cards. Uh, <laughs> way more so than I was expecting, honestly. This is... Um, the quality of this product is top notch and there's such variety in it. You've got the little lenticular 3D stuff. You've got regular base stuff, game cards, like what the heck? And <laughs> yeah, and I got a sketch card too. So man, I'm hoping that these packs hold some goodies as well, guys. So if you are interested in seeing the rest of these um, packs being open, definitely check back in a few days. It should be available then. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future, as well as great reveals and other discussions around not just Marvel and DC, but magic cards, Pokemon cards, any sort of cards for the most part. I love love cards and other random things too, as I'm sure you, you can see on the channel as well. So thanks again for coming by guys. I really appreciate it. And I do definitely hope to see you back next time for the rest of these packs. Take care.